Welcome back to More to Marketing on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Yasmeen, and today we are in Boston, Massachusetts with Larry Beeman from Gen Video joining me. Welcome to the program, Larry. Thanks for having me, Yasmeen. Excited to be here. We're so excited to have you. And with that, I want to go ahead and get right into it. Tell us about Gen Video and all the amazing work you guys do. Absolutely. Uh, so Gen Video, for those who aren't familiar, is a social commerce uh, and influencer marketing platform. So we actually um, work with uh, the world's largest influencers to create um, video and photo content for the world's largest brands. We have influencers share their content and then drive consumers to um, where products are available, whether that be Amazon, Target, Walmart, and the other world's largest retailers in order to inspire purchases. Um, and what we do for brands is we help track, um, you know, what influencers, what pieces of content, what social platforms, what types of audiences are helping to resonate the most uh, in order to connect um, consumers with their products. Absolutely. It's amazing that you've picked a focus for marketing and you've specialized in that as it relates to influencers. So I'm curious about that because of course in marketing, there's so many different ways that we can appeal to our audiences and get our brands out there as it relates to ads, organic work, marketing, writing, PR and so forth. And you've chosen influencer marketing. So why have you chosen an emphasis on influencer marketing and where do you see that emphasis going as we're moving to what seems like user generated content and more of an influencer style marketing? Yeah, absolutely. So I have a little bit different of a past as a digital marketer. I actually started in influencer marketing almost 15 years ago. Um, so back when LiveJournal and MySpace and beginning of Facebook were the most popular of platforms. Um, and so for me, it was a little bit accidental. Um, but as time has gone on, influencer has grown to be one of the fastest growing um, marketing mediums um, in the digital landscape. So for me, I only see it getting bigger and bigger as, uh, you know, these influencer, uh, individual influencers gain audiences larger than, um, network television shows. You know, I think it was, uh, <laughs> the, uh, Kim Kardashian who made that joke on SNL that, you know, it was an easy day for her cause it was just 3 million viewers versus 45 million. Um, so I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger as these platforms continue to, um, be created where, um, people can, with this, just their phone, um, create something unique, interesting, and become the most popular thing on the globe in a minute. Absolutely. And there's a lot of room for authenticity and just normal everyday, you know, folks to come in and become influencers, which is really cool. And you mentioned that, you know, it's only going to grow and get larger. And with that, I'm curious, the saturation might increase, the number of influencers might increase. It might be harder for influencers to get the noise out about brands or even for brands to notice them. Where do you see that growing as we continue in the future and how we can combat that? Yeah, I think that the probably the problem that's facing influencers the most is um, trying to steer clear of the 15 minutes of fame. Um, based on the way the algorithms are now, it's tougher for influencers to stay famous long term because they might blow up and then the algorithm doesn't love them anymore after the first few times. So I think for them, it's always about being consistent. Um, the influencers who stay around for long periods of time create content every t every single week. They create unique content. It's something they're passionate about, so it's much easier for them to just always be thinking about and publishing. Um, so I think that's the, the most important thing is don't try to make it famous immediately. Uh, slow and grow that audience over time so that people stick with you. Absolutely. I love the emphasis you put on that slow growth because that's something that we, people forget in marketing. You know, they think, oh, we're going online. Everyone's online. It'll be much quicker results. But really, that those long-term relationships and being genuine with people who you want to buy your brand, that takes time. And that is that slow growth, even from that influencer perspective. So it's great that you see that and you've put an emphasis on that. So in general, as we see marketing trends growing every single day that we have to pay attention to, as it relates to influencer marketing and the work that you all do, where do you see marketing going in the next few years that you believe an emphasis should be put on that we should be paying attention to as marketers? Yeah. So I always get this question and I almost always get it wrong. Um, so here's a, an attempt, but, uh, you know, I always thought that mm -hmm. several years ago, there would be a, a larger jump in some of the technology that we were using. Um, so, you know, the metaverse being like maybe the first entryway into that again, now that, um, you know, video editing is becoming much more popular. Um, so I think I'm always jumping ahead of myself. I think, you know, maybe there's a, a 
a new set of social media platforms that focus a lot more on video, maybe augmented reality mm-hmm. video a little bit. But I think people are still, people, influencers, consumers are still getting so used to rapid video editing that I think it'll be a while of continuing down this route where photography might start taking a larger backseat to marketing programs and just the type of content that we're ingesting every day. Absolutely. So what I'm hearing is content is king, video marketing is king, and that that's where we should really be focusing our time. Larry, thank you so much for this insight and sharing more about your company with us today. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. To find out more about Larry and all of his amazing work at Gen Video, visit us at dailyadbrief.com and we'll see you next time on More to Marketing. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.